Good evening, everyone. An Irondequoit man has been charged with the murder of this man, Rochester businessman Edward Boucher. Boucher was the CEO of the family business Caldwell Manufacturing Company. Today, police are releasing more details about this case. Kayla Green attended the news conference, joining us now live in Irondequoit with the new information. Kayla, what are we learning? Adam, police today are saying the two men knew each other well, but wouldn't get into details of the nature of that relationship. They said they'd known each other for years. It's also important to note that police say this was not a random act and there is no danger to the general public. Edward Boucher was born in Rochester and spent three decades as the CEO of his family's business, the Caldwell Manufacturing Company. This according to his obituary. Police say he was murdered by Christopher Wernley, a man they say he knew. We are confident in stating this was not a random act. Mr. Bosher and Mr. Wernley were known to each other, thereby eliminating fears of any threat to the general public. Boucher's family reported him missing Friday, which is when the police investigation began. Police say their investigation took them to a neighborhood off Hellendale Road in Irondequoit. Police say they searched extensively Friday and didn't find Boucher that day, but did find his car with no one inside. Saturday afternoon, they say they found Boucher's body behind this house, 403 Hellendale Road, a distance away from where his car was found. Last night, they found and charged the resident of that house, Christopher Wernley, with second-degree murder. We certainly don't have a conclusive um, weapon at this particular point, although based upon the injuries, uh, we do have confidence that it was uh, a blunt object that was used uh, that ultimately led to the death of Mr. Boucher. Former Victortown Judge Thomas Ray is serving as a special prosecutor in this case due to a conflict of interest with a family member of Boucher's working for the Monroe County District Attorney's Office. He and police say this case is complicated and wouldn't rule out more arrests. There's a number of pieces of this puzzle that the police are still working very hard on and um, this is a very complex investigation. Wernley was arraigned in Aronacoy Town Court and is now being held in the Monroe County Jail without bail. His next court date is May 26th. Live in Aronacoy, Kayla Green, News 8. Thanks, Kayla. According to his obituary, Boucher was active on several boards in the community, including the Harley Schools Board, Rochester's Child's, and Jiva Theater Centers, among others.